Hello everyone and welcome to another episode of Maxwell Render Hot Tips. My name is James Coleman and I'm the Maxwell Render Mentor at the University of Brighton Centre for Design Technology. And today in Maxwell Render Hot Tips I'm going to be looking at how to isolate selections in the interactive preview and what this actually does and how to use it to your advantage. So here I am in Maxwell Studio and this model that I've got open is a plastic lid injection mould from grabcad.com. And it's a really brilliant model, I really liked working with it, but as you can see it's really complicated and really detailed. On the one hand, that makes it a good model in the first place, but also it was difficult to work with, it was a challenge. And I used isolate selection an awful lot when it came to actually applying and tweaking the materials to the object. Where can you find the isolate selection setting? Well it's in the interactive preview window and it's under options and isolate selection. Click that and it will enable the checkbox and everything will disappear. Why? Because there are currently no objects selected. But if I go to my objects manager and select an object, it will appear in the interactive preview. And that is what isolate selection is doing. It is only rendering the objects that I have selected. And I can select one object in the object manager or I can select many. And it will refresh and it will show me what are currently selected. Another way of working with isolate selection is to literally just click on the objects in the viewport. Everything else will disappear and you can only see what you're working with at that current time. So you can tweak the materials to make sure it's nice without the distraction of the other objects. And it's also very useful to see the illumination and lighting effects and the reflective effects that you wouldn't normally see if the other objects were there. For example, right now I've got these black holes here and also these dark patches here. And if I turn off Isolate Selection, I can see that the reason for that is that there are these objects here. And in the dark holes, there are objects inside the hole, so no light is getting there. And in the dark areas, it's actually a reflection of the object. So that's where to find the Isolate Selection in the Interactive Preview, how to activate it, and how to use it. That's your Maxwell Render Hot Tip for this week. Thanks very much for watching. See you again soon.